Let's deploy a DirectUS application. We'll start in Cleaver here. Before we add a new site, let's add a database. I've already installed MySQL 8.0 on this server. So I'll just click here to add a new database, MySQL, and for the database name, let's call it DirectUS with a user of admin and a password of password, super secure. And then we'll add that database. And let's go back to sites and we'll add a new site with the app type of Node.js SSR. And you can either put in your own custom domain or use a temporary domain. I'm gonna choose the temporary domain option and click on advanced options to show some more options here. Instead of the entry point being index.js, I'm gonna put in npm and for argument start. Build command will leave the same, artifact path will leave the same, and port number I'm just going to change to 8055 because I already have that in my environment variables, so I'm just making it easier on myself, and I'm going to click on add to add that new site. Perfect, the new site has been added. Let's click on set up and deploy, and we'll configure the web app. I have the repository hosted on GitHub, so I'm going to choose the GitHub option, and I'll paste in the repository there. And it's not the master branch we'll be deploying, it's labeled main, and update that. And let's go to the build tab and verify that the entry point is npm and argument start, so that looks correct. And the next thing that we'll do is go to the environment section, and we're going to add in our environment variables, and then paste in the ones I have here. So the public URL, we'll want to change that out. Let's see, it's actually this right here, and then HTTPS or slash, and then I'll paste that there. Database client, MySQL, we could keep it as that. Uh, local port 3306 for MySQL as opposed to 5432, which you would use if you're using a Postgres database. And then for the database name, I have that as Directus. And then the user was admin, and again, that super secure password, password. There's a couple other things to change around as well. I uh, will put some random characters in for the key and same thing for the secret. And then I'm gonna sync that. And then head over to deployments and click on deploy. Oop, looks like there was an error. What is that? Okay, well, I didn't like those comments. Let's go back to the environment section and get rid of these comments. Then again, I'll sync that. Let me go back to deployments and let's try to deploy this again. Perfect, looks like it deployed out. One thing that we'll wanna look for is under the build assets deployment step, expand that and then scroll down to the bottom here. We're gonna see a part where it says no admin email, no password provided. All right, so the admin email is gonna to default to admin at example.com. Then the password will be this random of characters there so i'm going to copy that password and then just remember admin at example.com and let's scroll up real quick okay we see the ping results our 302s let's go ahead and visit the site and we have our directus admin screen here for the email it was admin at example.com and the password was that random string of characters i copied on my clipboard so i'll paste that there and then sign in and awesome that's how you can deploy out your directus application